by the way, if you think I'm making that up, we had the story on this from back in June. It was a Betsy McCoy piece using Obamacare to create a permanent Democrat majority. Last month, Covered California announced $37 million in grants to 48 organizations to build public awareness about the opening of the health exchange October 1st in California. Of the 48 organizations that got the money, only a handful have anything to do with health care. The California NAACP got six hundred grand to do door-to-door canvassing and presentations at community organizations. This is from exchange money. Service Employees International Union, which says its mission is economic justice, got two grants totaling $2 million to make phone calls, robocalls, and go door-to-door. For what? They're not going out and ringing doorbells for Obamacare. They don't have to. That's the law of the land. So what is SEIU doing? Getting exchange money and then making phone calls with it. They are signing up Democrat voters. The L.A., Los Angeles County Federation of Labor, AFL-CIO, got $1 million for door-to-door, one-on-one education and social networking. These are the navigators. These are the health exchange navigators, in part, who are administering these exchanges, i.e. these websites and these organizations closely allied with the Democrat Party, are being funded by tax dollars to ostensibly run the exchanges. But what they're doing is conducting outreach to register Democrat voters. Phone bank, door-to-door canvassing. This is what activists do to turn out the vote. They're not doing this to go out and get people to sign up for Obamacare. 